Om Shanti, welcome back. I'm back in Darjeeling and now we are doing the beautiful recording. That is yesterday's recording, 26th of September's recording, where Godfather wants us to become a Karma Yogi and perform actions through all our physical organs. So if you have understood till now that you are an incorporeal being or an infinite being or a special soul and not limited to your physical body, you are not your physical body, you are not your physical reality around you you're not defined by that then obviously the actions which we perform are not limited to our physical senses they're not limited to a physical reality or physical acceptance of things around us then we are infinite and we can perform infinite actions and give love which is infinite give happiness which is infinite give joy which is infinite give give understanding and acceptance which is infinite and when we are limited is a different thing when we are thinking through the point of view of limitations of our body limitations of finances limitations of our physical energy then there's a lot of limit and we need to become selfish then there's no unlimitedness in that so here father says that may you be a karma yogi and constantly perform elevated actions with your physical organs thinking of yourself as an unlimited being while seated on an immortal throne. So if I am considering myself to be an immortal being, an immortal infinite soul, infinite energy, all actions which I perform are going to be infinite and are going to help the people all around. I won't be thinking just about my survival. I won't be thinking just about my own needs and desires. I'll be having limited desires, limited needs. And even if I create certain desires, they'll be there to create something for the well-being of the society, well-being of the people around. And that's a higher thinking. So God says that a karma yogi, somebody who is constantly in touch with his original self and supreme creator and is doing all the karmas, is one who is seated on an immortal throne. That is, he is the master of himself and also has a right to the father's inheritance of the fortune of the kingdom. So, he is in control of himself. That means all the five senses are being guided by that soul. Not thinking from the point of view of I have less energy, less th things to give. But I am infinite being, infinite energy. I am infinitely available to give anything to anybody in the infinite spiritual realm. And from the infinite spiritual abundance. So here we are not talking about physical because if you think about physical, you've got limitations, right? But we are talking about unlimited energies. Even praying for somebody far off is an unlimited energy. Even if you are far away. Then God says, The actions of those who always perform actions while seated on the immortal thrones are elevated because all their physical organs function are under law and order. So that means your eyes will see the good things and people. Your ears will only like to listen to good things and people. You won't be judging other people. But yes, you'll be judging whether to protect yourself or not. If someone doesn't have the position of a throne, there cannot be law and order. Isn't that so? Even a king, if he doesn't have the position of a throne, nobody's going to listen to him. Similarly, I need to be soul conscious so that my eyes, ears, mouth, hands and legs, they start listening to me and they become lighter and are ready to do infinite work. God then says, if someone doesn't have the position of a throne, there cannot be law and order. Souls seated on their thrones always perform actions, right actions, and eat the instant fruit of right actions. That means they'll feel happier giving to other souls. Such souls receive happiness and also power. So if I'm thinking of myself as limited, I can't do much. What is there with me? I don't have enough. Obviously, there won't be any happiness in those thoughts. But if you're thinking I'm unlimited, it doesn't matter whether I'm physically limited, physically not able to help people out, but I can help people out with prayers, I can help people out with finances or whatsoever thing which I have abundance in. And the biggest abundance which a person or a soul has is his thoughts, pure thoughts, divine thoughts. And if you create divine thoughts in your surroundings, you can make your surroundings beautiful, powerful, peaceful, that itself is multi-million times more precious because you see it's difficult to buy peace. Peaceful thoughts are easy to create. Make a decision.
which one do you want with this Om Shanti.